Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. What we're going to be doing in this video is um, learning how to create if statements or if else statements. As you can see here, I've set up a class called Grade Finder. So I've got a constructor and I've got a method find grade. What we're going to do here now is we're going to the first thing we need to do is create a an instance variable. So we're going to have private int mark. So this is going to be the mark of the so basically this is going to be the mark of the student and we're going to pass this in through the constructor. So if we say int input mark and we say here mark equals input mark. So when we create an instance of this class, grade finder, it's going to ask us for a value for an integer, which we can provide as the mark for the student. So that's going to be passed to this mark, which is the instance variable here. So we can then use that instance variable in this find grade method. So in the find grade method, what we want to do is we want to say, if it's a certain grade, then it should be an A. Otherwise, then if it's a up to a certain grade, it should be a B and then a C and then a D and then no grade or something like that. What we can do here now is if we say if open bracket mark is more than 90, open curly brace, close curly brace. Now you can see in this purple section here, this represents the bounds of the if statement. So here we're saying if the mark, which is this mark, is more than 90, then we're going to award a, a grade A for that. So we can just say here again, system.out.println, open and close um, brace, and inside there, we can just put a message. So if you put speech marks, and we just say the grade is A then we can say if so we want to say we want to keep going down in um, you know in, in from from a to b to c so we want to say else if mark is more than 80 and we want to do the system out um, print line again so System out print line and the grade is B. Close brace, semicolon, and we'll say um, we'll say else if mark is more than seventy. Close in brace. System dot out dot print line. The grade is C. This is our basic outline for the if else statement. What we can also include at the bottom here is else. So what we want to so what we're saying here now is that if the mark is more than 90, the grade should be an A. If the mark is more than 80, it should be a B. Otherwise, if it's more than 70, it should be a C. And else, in other words, anything else, we should just say um System.out.print line just fails. So this will output a, in any case, it'll output a message to the terminal window to say whether it's an A, a B, a C, or failed. Let's give that a try. So let's now compile. Let's just say create a new instance. Now that we're creating a new instance, it's, it says here int input mark. So it's going to ask us for a parameter. This is where we can provide the mark. So we could just say, um, let's just say, for example, it's 75, which in that case, we know that if it is 75, then when we calculate it, it should be a C, because if we go to what if, else, if, what will happen is when we click on find grade, let's actually run it first and then I'll explain it. So find grade, the grade is C. So if we go back to our code, so how's that worked? It's gone it's firstly, so we've run the find grade method. It says if mark is more than 90. So 
this statement has failed. This is this resolves to false because Mark is not um, more than ninety, so it therefore jumps to here, and it says else if Mark is more than eighty, and it's still not more than eighty. So this if statement fails. It then goes to the next if statement, and this if statement says if Mark is more than seventy, and we know that Mark because we've input it here through the constructor and it's now here as this instance variable, we know that that is 70, so, uh, sorry, 75. So we know that mark 75 is more than 70, so this resolves to true. Therefore it runs whatever, in, whatever is inside the if statement body, which in this case is this. That's one example of it. We could we could also say, for example, if if the, if the mark is exactly hundred, then that's a special case. For example, maybe some kind of you know a special recognition if you get a hundred percent or you know your mark is a hundred. So what we could say here is above the mark is more than ninety. We could have something like if mark equals. And it's not a single equals. You you know you may think it's a, a single equals, but it's a double equals a hundred. And we have the method body there, so we can then change this below to else if mark is more than ninety. Why is it two equals and not one? Well, we know that if it's a single equals in Java, means that it's an assignment. So what it would try to do here is say. One, if, if we had one equals, it would say 100 being assigned to mark, which isn't right. We want to say equals equals because this will say, does this match this? So in other words, does the mark that we've given, inputted in and passed to here, does that equal 100? And if it does, we'll just say um, system dot out dot print line. We can just say, um, well done. Let's let's run that with um, being a hundred. So okay, so let's say new grade, and we're going to provide it with a grade of a hundred, and let's find the grade. So it just says well done. So that's this if statement has resolved to true because we know that it's a hundred. If you know if our grade was anything else other than a hundred, it would. This would resolve to false, and it would go to the next one, then to the next one, then to the next one, until you know if, if it was 70 or less, then it would go into this else part of the if statement. I'm not going to go into any more detail for this video. I'm going to talk more about um, if statements in the next video. So thank you for watching, and if you did find this video useful, then please leave a like and subscribe.